Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel. I'm Nikki Cars. Uh, if you are just tuning in, this is my 2005 BMW X5 that I bought a couple months ago on auction. I bought it for a project car and so far it has not let me down. Um, I have actually so much content, I can't make videos fast enough. Um, but my most recent problem is actually with the key lock in the driver's side here. If I put the key in, the key turns and turns and turns. So I need to take that lock off. Um, I'm not quite sure what the issue is right now, um, what is causing it to continue to turn, but I bought a new lock kit that I'm actually gonna take that lock out, fix the lock, and then install it back in. So that is what I'm doing today. Let's try to get started. You need to remove this entire lock piece right here. So open your door right on the inside. You will see these two plastic pieces that need to be removed. First the inside one and then the outer one. That will give you access to a bolt that's underneath there that you need to loosen. Now in order to get this piece out, it's just a simple pick tool. And I'm going to There you go. And there's just the middle piece and then the inside piece. Pretty easy. There. Now we can get in that bolt in there. I'm getting up close here, right on the inside right there. You can see that bolt. That will take a four millimeter Allen wrench tool. So this bolt doesn't actually come out. You just need to loosen it. You can see that it wiggles a little bit here. Now that I feel that it's unscrewed enough, I'm going to take my key here use my key to wiggle this out a little bit. Be a little stubborn. So I did find it helpful to actually put my key in the lock hole and kind of help jiggle it a little bit just to try to loosen it. Um, but I did end up needing to get a pry tool of some sort just to kind of get in there and make sure that I was able to get it completely off. There we go. There. There we go. Now I have it out. So now I can work with this piece here. Okay, so I want to make note of this. When I pulled this piece out, half of the pieces were missing from this. Here's a closer look at the lock up close. Uh, there is many pieces that are not attached to it that are supposed to be. Before my lock stopped working, I actually heard a cling 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 as if something had fallen down the door. That must have been the U-clip as well as with the other pieces that were in there. So if you go around here and take a look at the inside of my door, you'll see that the spring is actually still there um, and all the other pieces must still be inside the car as well. I should have had this piece in here there should have been a spring in here, this piece then pushing the spring down, and the U-clip in there. I didn't have any of those. If you do have those pieces, what you have to do is you have to dislodge this U-clip, but there is a spring on there and it will send this piece flying anywhere if you're not careful. So just know that when dismantling it. Um, luckily, um, I don't know, the spring and the U-clip and all those other pieces must be at the abyss of the bottom of the door because um, I have no idea where they are. Um, but lucky me is I don't have to then dismantle that part of this device. I can just go right back to um, starting to put it back together. Okay, so let's take a look at the repair kit that I got. So there's a lot of pieces in here. This is the base plate that I have that's gonna go down first. And then I have two of these pieces here. I'm only gonna use one. One is for a left side driver and one is for a right side driver. I'm in the US, so I'm a left side driver. So I'm going to be using this one here. Look at the inside shape of that piece to determine is it left side or right side. You need to know that. Then I'm gonna do the spring. 
And I believe this was called the pedal that goes next to hold the spring down and then the U-clip. Oh, and then the pin uh, that goes in last for just like extra security to keep that U-clip in there. Okay, so now I need to make sure that my internal pieces line up correctly. I can do that by using the key to turn this so these two notches line up right next to this ridge right here. Okay, so now I have my key lock here on the counter. Uh, I'm Yes, yes, that's screen Play-Doh. That's what I'm using to try to hold it steady. No judging. Okay, but what you wanna do is take the base plate that you have right here. There's three grooves on it. Um, as you can see, one, two, three, and you're gonna place that right in the grooves here in the lock, one, two, three. That's how you're gonna know that it's positioned correctly. It only fit one way. So go ahead and push it down in there. Push it down real good. Um, I'm gonna use my pick tool to push it down to make sure that it's flush. Should fit re real good in there. Now it's time to put the left driver side plate in. You're gonna put that right on top. It's gonna to nest right inside the base plate. Notice that one of the ledges is taller than the other side. The taller edge side goes on the outside. So make sure that you have that position correctly. And then the two tall notches are gonna sit parallel with the two tall notches that were in the base plate. Next comes the spring. And this is actually the trickiest part of this whole process. You have to put the spring down in here and then you're gonna to have to turn it slightly so that the notch on the bottom of the spring catches on this ridge right here. And then you're gonna to have to push the spring down and turn it so that the top notch actually connects, connects on the opposite side of the ledge. There's a lot of tension on the spring, which actually makes this so difficult. A lot of people recommend a ballpoint pen that you can just hook on the ledge here to help control the spring as you push it down and turn it. But before I do that, I'm gonna grab my pedal right here and just make sure that I'm ready and how it all connects together. Uh, when I have the spring pushed down and ready to go, this pedal actually has to be placed over that. And I gotta just be very mindful of where the notches are because the U-clip is actually what's going to hook everything together. So the pedal needs to be positioned just correctly so when this is all pushed down, the U-clip goes right through the notches of the pedal and keeps everything connected and in position. Okay, it's just sliding a whole bunch. Let's try this paper towel instead. Okay. Got everything ready. Oh shit, where my pin go? Okay. So line these up. Put you up that way. There we go. Now, shh. there we go. Now that we got that all the way in there, so you click can go down in there. Got it. They weren't kidding. That was ridiculously hard. Um, but next then is this pin. Now this pin goes right down in here. Oh, it's supposed to go in there. Why those too big? So I'm gonna have to find something else to stick in there uh, just to kind of make sure it stays locked. And I'm assuming that it's so that this U-clip doesn't fall out. It's just extra security, but uh, I need to find something and then we're ready to install that. 
All right, so something I just actually jumped off camera and did, um, I that pin was not fitting in here. So I ran down and I found in my toolbox uh, just some wire here, which actually worked out perfectly. It was just thin enough to fit in this hole. So just cut off a little piece and just tap that down in there and got that in there. Worked perfect, very happy with that. Um, another important thing that you wanna do is test it out. Make sure your key turns before you get too far. <laughs> I'll admit it, my first time doing this, uh, the key would not turn. So I took everything apart. Um, I put silicone, I used uh, a silicone leftover from another job, put silicone way down in there, put everything back in, and then siliconed all around it. And now my key is working just fine. All right, so now we are done. We are ready to put this piece back in the car. All right, now that I'm looking at the car here, if you look down in there, uh, you'll see the, the little device that the key, um, the key lock is gonna go in. You need to make sure that it's north, south, east, west. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in. Let's just test it really quick. Screw that bolt back in. Finally. All right, so that's in. I'm gonna put my two plastic pieces back in. If you like this, please hit that like button. If you subscribe, I really appreciate the support. Until the next project, thanks and have a good one.